You know, it's not every day that I, one, even use this set over here, and two, get to talk about a new product in the Nixie Wizard wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch. It says for the light and OLED, obviously on the light, you won't use this. These are like Joy-Con replacements and also Pro Controller replacements. And really one of the biggest features is obviously its GameCube design, right? It's basically a GameCube controller wirelessly, except you can also use it for Joy-Cons. Now they do have Hall Effect sticks, which should take care of that pesky drift. Uh, instant triggers, ABXY buttons, interchangeable joystick rings, comfort feel. I don't know, you guys let me know uh, what it's gonna do, but let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy for you guys and try it out and see uh, if it's worth a damn because uh, this video is actually sponsored by the Nixie Wizard. So let's see what we got working here. So as you see here, we have our Nixie Wizard box. I think this is a slide out like this, yep. We got that and then, oh, let's see. I think this is just gonna open. Yeah, shake, earthquake, <laughs> we got her here, and then here we go, so we got pack of accessories here, we'll get that in a moment, first let's pull out the actual controller here, so uh, my first impressions are it's lighter than I expected, uh, and it's quite large, it's definitely larger than a normal GameCube controller. Let me go grab a Switch controller to compare this to. Here we have our Legend of Zelda Pro Controller, just to sort of compare it. It's just a little bit bigger than that. Obviously we have a standard pair of Joy-Cons here that we could compare this to as well. And you can definitely tell that there are some size differences. Now, notably there's this middle chunk that lets you use it like this. I'm gonna say the sticks feel pretty good. Uh, everything kind of feels as expected, but as I said, it does feel quite light. Now let's figure out how we take this apart. Now they do have uh, two little things back here, so I'm assuming, yep, yeah, it pulls just like a Joy-Con does. So let's do that again on this one here. See, there's a little tab and pulls off. So this is that center section that lets you uh, connect it as a controller. We'll set that aside. And then here are, here, here, here's basically what it looks like that. If you want to use split mode, I don't know that I would use split mode with this. Uh, it's a little bit too slippery, although we have these extra buttons back here uh, that are probably programmable. These are definitely digital triggers, not really much better than, say, the Joy-Cons. Now, sliding this on the Switch, let's see how ridiculous this looks. I have a feeling this is going to be quite large. Oh, yeah. They're now paired. They're now powered on. And, uh, man, there's some cool things I'm noticing with this right away, and that is that the buttons are actually backlit. I didn't know these buttons were backlit. I didn't see that on the box, so... That's pretty cool, but obviously this is pretty large. We're looking at a fairly large uh, stuff here. Let's go into the uh, system settings here and uh, controller calibration stuff. I'm trying to remember where exactly this is. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, not button mapping. Let's, uh, let's calibrate the control sticks. So let's first do this left one, and let's just see... If there's any dead zones here, everything feels pretty good. All right. Uh, we'll back up and let's try this left stick now. Oh, yeah, everything feels pretty good. The clicks feel good. Awesome. Uh, let's see if it has motion controls. I'm not even sure uh, if the controllers have motion controls. Let's do this one. Detach it. All right. Let's detach. All right, it's detached. Let's try this again. On the flat surface. Calibration's been complete. So it apparently does have the motion controls uh, in it. So that's kind of cool. Let's reconnect here. All right, so let's go into a game. And you know, the game that feels right to even attempt to use this with is obviously Super Smash Bros, right? We all know that supposedly GameCube controllers are best for Super Smash. So let's load up Smash here. All right, so now that we're in a match, get to CPU. I'm not really focusing on winning. I'm just kind of playing like I normally would a bit. You might go, you normally don't focus on winning. I just want to test out all the controls. All right, so the digital trigger here for the shield feels fine. 
Uh, again, it's more so just like a standard button press. All right. Man, I haven't used the GameCube control layout a long time. Like, it's been a significant amount of time. All right, let's... Uh, Let's, let's see how this stick feels, because this is obviously much bigger than a C-stick. That's uh, pretty standard. Grab an item here. Yeah, everything feels pretty good. Um, let's try the D-pad a little bit. I know this isn't a great D-pad test, of course. Uh, I don't use the D-pad a lot in Smash. You know, it's a, it's a lot of taunting and... And all of that. Now we're kind of slowed down because of an item. So I would say uh, the controller feels as I would expect. Really good. The sticks feel really great. Obviously now uh, there's some features that we might want to talk about with this. Because you'll notice when you look here that this is using the classic GameCube 8 directional. And you might not like that. And I think those can be swapped out. So let's go back to the box. And there is an accessory pack here. And let's look at what we got in the accessory pack. So as you're seeing, we got our standard charger. It is a USB-C charger. And then we also have these that we could swap in on the sticks. Now, I've never been a fan of the standard eight directional. So let's see how this works. I'm not even gonna look at the instructions. Let's just see how hot swap will look. I'm assuming it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. So let's just see. All right, now that we came back, you see I already got one removed here. It's... <laughs> A little bit more forceful than, uh, than I thought it would be. It's not quite as smooth. But basically, I found that when I put a fingernail on this notch here and a notch here, and then I just heavily pull, it will twist properly. And then this is the weird part. The whole th stick comes out. So you just kind of pull up. Let's see if I can get this to... And it just pops off just like that. And then we can go ahead and replace our rings. So let's do this one we just popped off first. Let's put in a smooth ring instead of the... Uh, eight directional one and let's see about getting this inserted so it should be pretty simple should just go in yeah it should be pretty simple let's hold on let's, let's get this ring down in here this is a little bit finicky i sort of wish that this was independent but let's get this in see if we can get the stick inserted Ooh. There we go. I just had to get the, the stick turned the right way. Then we can press this down. Now let's get this locked in. You would just probably do the opposite of what I did before, and boom. Now it's locked in. It's lined up with these two tiny little dots. We'll do the same thing on this uh, left stick here. We'll insert our new ring. And I'm sort of figuring this out. It's my first time uh, replacing these, and this isn't something you're going to do that often anyways. This is more like, you know, you set it up the way you want when you get it. All right, and then we're going to kind of find that sweet spot in here on the stick. There we go. There it is. Pushes down. It's good to go. Push this in. And let's lock it. Boom. Good to go. Let's put them back on our switch here. And so now I got my smooth sticks on, and this is honestly what I prefer. But again, if I ever want to go back to the 8-directional, it's right here. Uh, there's other games that we could look at, you know, if you if, if you guys wanted to load up. Like Metroid Prime Remaster, a GameCube game, uh, would be kind of cool. But honestly, uh, let's go to our other camera and talk further about this uh, monstrosity of controllers. So my big thing with this is obviously it's pretty big and you're not going to really put this inside a switch case. I mean, look at how much, you know, extra depth there is here behind the switch. Although I guess you could still, you know, kick the kickstand out if you wanted. But honestly, uh, I really like these GameCube ones. It really does give me that GameCube feel. Uh, I maybe wish that there was a bit more grip on the handles, but I, you know, GameCube controllers didn't really have grip on them. So uh, these buttons here are reprogrammable. Uh, so you could put some, some buttons on the back. Uh, I don't have any problem with these uh, shoulder buttons the way they are. They basically work exactly like the Joy-Con. So if you were hoping for something that, that has more travel than, say, the Pro Controller, because uh, this doesn't really have much travel either, you're not getting that with this. But again, they're just digital buttons, so uh, it's all fine. We do have nice clicks. Uh, the D-pad seems to work pretty solid. Honestly, 
I definitely think that these are worth purchasing if you're a GameCube enthusiast that loves having GameCube controllers and want them available at all times on your Nintendo Switch. So there's going to be a link down in the description uh, in order to purchase these for yourself. Uh, they do run $70, I believe, $69.99 MSRP. But again, they can be used as Joy-Cons on the side of your Switch like this, which as crazy as it looks, like, like I'm holding this in my hand, like as crazy as this <laughs> looks when you're just staring at it, like how big that is, when you're holding it, it actually feels pretty good. Uh, and then obviously, you know, we can get another look at this quick, uh, as it looks like as a standard controller here, uh, just sliding it in to this little plastic piece it comes with. So it looks like a normal controller. And yeah, playing this way feels great too. I gotta be honest, this is probably one of the coolest accessories for Nintendo Switch out right now, this Nixie Wizard controller. Uh, again, if you guys wanna check it out, link down in the description. And you know what? I'll catch you guys in that next video.